No matter how you slice it, Donald Trump's presidency so far up to this point has been an abject failure. He's failed on issues of foreign policy. He has absolutely failed in disaster response, both uh, with regards to the Las Vegas shooting and the hurricanes and the other natural disasters that's we, that we've had in this country. He's failed to produce any kind of meaningful policy. He can't even pass horrible policies that would uh, strip 32 million people of their health insurance. And while that is a good thing, Republicans are actually kind of pissed off that he hasn't been able to do that. But there is one area where Donald Trump has actually managed to succeed. And that is in destroying regulations that save American lives. Now deregulation has been a cornerstone of the modern day Republican party since as long as anybody can remember. Deregulation, they tell us, is the key to job growth. It's the key to economic growth. It is the key to making American workers happy and American CEOs rich. All we have to do is get rid of all those pesky government regulations. They're strangling businesses. Businesses are going out of business because of government regulations. Well, here's the sad reality, folks. Sometimes regulations cost businesses a little extra money. And sometimes when you have an already failing business uh, that has to comply with these regulations, yeah, they might actually go out of business. But do you know why those regulations are in place? To save American lives. That is 100% the only reason we have regulations. It's not because the government wants to be a dick. It's not because they're evil and hate corporations. It's because at some point those regulations didn't exist People's lives were either ended or destroyed because of it. So we made new rules to protect them. That's why they exist. But Republicans and Donald Trump specifically with all of the work he's done since being president have proven that they do not care about the lives of American citizens. And in fact, they don't care if you die. All they care about is making sure that corporations do not have to pay a little bit of extra money to make sure that their toxic waste doesn't end up in our drinking water, you know, to make sure that they don't have to pay a little bit extra money to make sure all their factory equipment is up to par so that it doesn't cut a human being in half while he's working. That's what regulations do people. That's what they do. They save our lives on a daily basis in ways that sometimes we don't even comprehend. We have, uh, in my town here in Pensacola, Florida, one of the most polluted waterways in the entire United States. It wasn't always that way. And to be honest, a few years ago, we had cleaned up almost all of the pollution in it. But because of a Republican controlled government here in the state, we removed some regulations and it's right back to being one of the most polluted waterways in the country. That's what regulations are for folks to prevent massive pollution, massive corruption and endangering American lives. These regulations, again, they're not there because the government just hates businesses and wants to put these onerous things on them. It's because they are trying to protect us from people who otherwise would not give a damn one way or the other, because you know what? These CEOs who make these decisions to cut costs, to cut safety measures, to dump their pollutants into the environment, they don't live in the areas where the water gets contaminated. So they don't have to worry about drinking it. They don't work on the factory floor where heavy machinery could snap at any moment and crush a human being to death. They don't deal with any of that on a daily basis, but we, the average American citizen, we do. And we're the ones who are being told by Republicans that our lives are not worth it. Our lives are worth less than any corporate profit at all. And that is what they consistently put ahead of us. Those corporate profits, because at the end of the day, those corporate profits are what keep Republican politicians in office. And that is why they're going to continue pushing policies that leave American workers, American citizens, American residents dead so that corporations can make a few extra dollars every year. Thanks for watching. And if you like what you see here on Ring of Fire, we encourage you to subscribe to our channel. Um, you can see the little subscribe button down there, but if you're watching it on another device where you can't see it, go to youtube.com slash the ring of fire, hit subscribe, be notified every time we get a new video.